Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview release for the dev channel, which is build 22563. This was released today and I've just installed it on my laptop. This is the build that was released by Microsoft today. And in this video, as you're used to, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and we're gonna talk about a few fixes that were applied to this build. First of all, what you need to know is that this build is also available for ARM64 PCs, and that is good news. Regarding what is new in this build first of all we have the tablet optimized taskbar basically microsoft is introducing some optimizations for windows 11 if you're using it on a tablet and of course you're going to have more info about this in the article down below because this will only be available for insiders that are using windows 11 on a tablet not on laptops or pcs microsoft is also making widgets content more dynamic basically they are bringing in together the widgets and the news feed experience as a dynamic blended feed containing both widgets and news content and they are slowly releasing this feature out so it won't be available for all Windows Insiders that are enrolled in the Windows Insider program in the dev channel of course. Microsoft is also releasing a new group policy for managing Windows update notifications. So starting with this build you will finally be able to turn off all Windows update notifications that might distract your day-to-day -day work and this group policy can be found in of course in the local group policy editor, computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, then Windows Update, then Manage and User Experience, and then you're gonna have down here Display Options for Update Notifications, and you can enable it if you don't want to receive any notifications about Windows Updates. And then you just click on Apply and OK, and this should be enabled. Regarding changes and improvements in this build, we're talking about File Explorer first. Search from Quick Access has been expanded to include content from your OneDrive, downloads, and any indexed location, so you can use the Quick Access to find the results results fast, and also files in quick access without any local presence, for example, files shared to you from another OneDrive, now show thumbnails and work with OneDrive sharing. Regarding windowing, Microsoft made it even easier to snap the most relevant windows next to each other by introducing Microsoft Edge tabs as suggested windows and snap assist. So as you can see, if I'm using the snap assist and snap my Edge tab on a part of my screen, I'm gonna have other programs suggested as the snap assist and also the other tab that I don't have focused right now on the Microsoft Edge. I think this is a pretty good thing for those of you who are using Microsoft Edge, but for me this is not really that useful. And you can also control whether to show Microsoft Edge tabs and number of tabs shown when snapping or pressing Alt plus tab in the settings app into system and then into multitasking. So you can see here show Microsoft Edge tabs when snapping or pressing Alt plus tab and you can click on don't show tabs, three most recent tabs, five most recent tabs, and all tabs. This is a new settings that was added to the settings app into the multitasking section. Regarding input, starting with this build, Windows Insiders can now use 37 new emoji characters in the emoji picker as part of emoji 14.0. Some of the new emojis include melting face, troll, coral, beans, playground slide, and mirror ball. Also, skin tone variants for hand gestures and people bring the total to 112 emojis, which include the handshake. We can now choose the skin tones, but between two hands in the handshake emoji. And now the updated accessibility flyout on the login screen introduced in the previous build 22,557 is now available to all Windows Insiders in the dev channel. Basically, this is all there is to it, everything that is new in this new build. Of course, this is not such a big build as the previous one was because Microsoft only worked on this for a week, but we also have some fixes. So for example, Microsoft improved login performance for a specific case where someone had a very large temp folder, also fixed a few issues is impacting Explorer reliability, and they also updated the volume flyout when using the hardware keys on your keyboard to account for cases where there is no working audio. And of course, we have issues regarding each aspect of the Windows operating system, taskbar, start menu, file explorer, and so on. But if you want to see the whole list of fixes and improvements, you can go and check out the article down below in the description. Basically, this is the build for today in the dev channel 22563. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the tech base channel if you don't want to miss any future videos like this. I was Emmanuel from TechPaste, until next time, have a nice day.